an American Where at least I know I'm free And I won't forget the men who died Who gave that right to me Hey guys, what's up? Uh, welcome back to my vlog. Uh, it's been a couple weeks since I've done a vlog and I do apologize and I wanted just to fix that real quick. I just wanted to say uh, happy 4th of July. That was the big thing that just passed. Um, but I do want to get into real quick, it does have to do with the 4th of July. I did actually end up working on the 4th of July and yeah, I know it was lame. Um, but let me just say this, people were, were saying, oh, I can't believe you had to work, you have to work on the 4th of July, that sucks. Well, you know what, dude? If you weren't out there shopping on the 4th of July, I wouldn't have to be working. Same thing with Thanksgiving. If you guys wouldn't go out there and shop, we wouldn't have to work. So don't pity us because it's your fault that we're there. Okay, anyway. So, sorry about that. I just had to say that. So, the one thing that I wanted to say, and that I was really disappointed with that in the, in the 4th of July. Not so much the 4th of July, but the people who are celebrating the 4th of July. Uh, I did say, like I said, I, I worked that day. And the place that I work was having a donation drive. And basically the donation drive was uh, donate an item to the troops overseas and it would go directly to the troops overseas from our distribution distribution center and you would get 10% off your purchase. If you didn't want to donate a t-shirt, socks, pair of underwear, anything like that, you could choose to donate a pair of flip-flops. Now the thing that bothered me about that was the fact that we asked every single customer who came through our line, we would ask them, and a majority of those people were offended at the fact that we were asking them to donate to the troops. Why they were offended is beyond me. I honestly don't know. These are the couple of the, a couple of the reactions that I got. No, I don't want, no. I don't support the war. I'm, I don't want to donate anything. No, not this time, not today. Or, no, I don't know. I don't want to donate nothing. Okay, so it, the whole donation drive was not about supporting the war. Because, honestly, in all reality, who really supports war? First of all. Second of all, we're not asking you to support the war. We're asking you to support your troops. The troops that are out there every single day fighting for your country and fighting for your freedom because you are not out there fighting for your own freedom so just remember that you get offended at us asking you to support your troops but if those tr troops were not there supporting your freedom what would life be like for you hmm? honestly because that's the biggest thing that that's the biggest issue that I had this weekend was the fact that people were offended that we were asking them to do something nice for their for the troops you know I think about the troops every day and I'm thankful for them every day and I'm thankful for their brave their I'm thankful for them being so brave uh, my brother is a former marine he fought in the original Gulf War from 1989 to about 1993 I want to say obviously he wasn't fighting them because the war just started in 1990 or 91 whatever but my family knows what it's like to have somebody fighting in the war overseas and I've talked to him a little bit about it and it's a very hard thing that they're that they go through so can you imagine the kind of happiness or the kind of excitement that they get just knowing that some random person felt kind-hearted enough to do something nice for them as, as small as donating a pair of flip-flops? Now, my company, the company that I work for, their mission with this donation drive was for for every single troop that's there to be able to get something be a pair of flip-flops or a t-shirt or you know a pair of boxers um, so that was the biggest thing that I had issues with and I was getting really frustrated when I was at work and I was talking to people and I was bringing people up um, whatever it's your prerogative if you don't want to support the troops that's all right but um, I'm, you know I, I don't understand why you would feel that way um, okay so on that note happy 4th of July Happy late 4th of July. Um, 
and we will move on to the next topic. Next topic is Janet Jackson at the Essence Music, Music Festival in New Orleans, Louisiana at the Superdome. Um, I was hearing that it was a sold out show. Uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of the Essence Music Festival, but it's, it was the 40th anniversary this year of the Essence Music Festival and they asked Janet Jackson to be one of the headlining acts. She opened up the Essence Music Festival, well she closed the opening night if that makes sense, that might be a little confusing. She closed the opening day of the Essence Music Festival uh, with a two-hour set. It was her first full-out concert since, since 2008's Rock With You tour. And that tour actually only did 15 or 16 dates because she ended up getting sick. She ended up getting vertigo so she couldn't continue on with the performance. Um, I'm going to show you guys a couple of clips. If I can find some clips, I will run some clips. If not, here are a couple of pictures of Janet Jackson from the Essence Music Festival. some pictures from Janet Jackson at the Essence Music Festival uh, doing a headlining two-hour set she did all of her hits so basically she did a 31 song set um, full out costume changes choreography full band I might add because the Rock With You tour actually didn't have a full band it, there was only a, I think it was a three-piece band it had a keyboard guitar and, a, and drums I think um, so yeah, so in addition to her doing the Essence Music Festival, she is still filming Tyler Perry's For Colored Girls, so that filming is still going on, and I actually told you last time we didn't know which character she was playing, but she actually revealed in an interview this weekend that she's going to be portraying a character, Red. So if you've ever seen the play, uh, you know what that story's, her character's story is all about, because I do believe that it's about 10 or 15 women and their struggles with whatever. I haven't really read up on it, but I will do that and give you guys a recap on the next vlog. Um, last thing I want to get into is my video pick of the week, movie, not music. Um, this week's video pick of the week is going to be another 80s film titled Just One of the Guys. Uh, um, here's a clip from Just One of the Guys, um, and definitely check it out. Cherry's a girl who wanted to be taken seriously. I am going to be a reporter. But her body kept getting in the way. Pretty girl, you could be a model. Sometimes I just wish I were a guy. No, you don't. The male body needs sex at all times. It's a living hell. So to prove to the men in her life she had a mind, Cherry decided to try life as a guy. How do I look? Dash. My zipper's open. That was the dashing part. What a fox. Dresses like Elvis Costello. Looks like the karate kid. I'm gonna get him. Today's woman has the freedom to be just as sick and perverted as us guys. She learned their secrets. I have surprise jock inspections three times a week. A word to the wise. And dated their women. Yeah, but I got this one rule. I never go out with girls who say bitch. the guy. Now the question is... What's going on? Wait, it gets better. Can a girl tell the boy she loves... Terry's such a stallion. Go on, show me Harry Chet. She's not the man. He thinks she is? Wait a minute, are those what I think they are? Yep, it's one of a kind. My bro. Just one of the guys. She's confused. Of course you're confused. You're wearing my underwear. One of the guys! So you just saw a clip from my video pick of the week, which is just one of the guys. Definitely check it out on video. It should be on DVD. Don't know about Blu-ray. Um, but check it out on Amazon.com. See if you can find it there. And definitely watch it because it's a great, great, great movie. All right. That's my vlog for this week. I will catch you guys next time. Uh, thank you for all my viewers. Just one more time, just wanted to give a shout out to all my viewers. Very few of you that are out there. Um, but I just wanted to thank you again. Stay tuned because there's more good things to come. Peace.